Spring is in the air and spring cleaning may be on your mind. You know who's got some great tips on keeping your kitchen clean? Martha Stewart, of course. And Elise Moody from Martha Stewart Living has the scrub of making your kitchen space spotless. Take a look. Hi guys, I'm Elise Moody, senior editor at Martha Stewart Living, and I'm here to talk to you about spring cleaning. I know this year our kitchens have all gotten a harder workout than usual, so we talked to cleaning experts and chefs around the country to find out the best ways to get it sparkling. They recommended starting with your sink. I know I wipe mine down every night, but I don't necessarily disinfect it. The best way to do that, take a half quart of water and fill a spray bottle, add an ounce of bleach and a teaspoon of dish soap. Shake it up, spray it on, let it sit, and then wipe it down. The key to getting it really clean though, is to clean that little seam around the drain at the bottom of your sink. The best way to get in there and fill, get out all of that buildup is with a plain old clean toothbrush. Just give it a scrub. Next, your fridge. Take everything out, put it in a cooler, it's not as hard as it sounds, and spray the inside down with a half and half mix of distilled white vinegar and water, plus a teaspoon of dish soap. Let it sit, and then to get off any caked on stains or spills, grab one of these scotch Bright scrubbers. We really like these because the points let you get into all the tight corners of your fridge. Meanwhile, soak the drawers in, a mix, in hot soapy water. I actually enlisted my bathtub to make that a little bit easier. When you're finished cleaning the inside, put them back. And to contain any future spills, I like to use one of these enamel art trays. You can get them at an art supply store or online. They just keep your spills sequestered so it's easier to clean up next time. Next up is your oven. To get it feeling really clean, chefs recommend taking off the knobs that you use to turn it on and also the vent hood screen up top and soaking them in hot soapy water. While they're soaking, you can clean the rest. For the inside, we recommend using a damp um, pumice scouring stick. This is a Pumi scouring stick. They let you get off all those caked on spills and everything on the inside without using any harsh chemicals. Just like your oven knobs, drawer handles and cabinet pulls can get really grimy. So while you're cleaning the rest of the cabinets, take them off and let them soak in hot soapy water too. It'll make a big impact on how clean they feel. While you're wiping down the fronts, we recommend using an enzymatic cleaner to cut through that grime, and the best one we've found is BioClean. We really like it for getting your cabinet sparkling. To get our full kitchen cleaning routine and lots of other housekeeping tips, visit us at MarthaStewart.com. I'm Elise Moody, Senior Editor at Martha Stewart Living, and I hope your spring is off to a great start. Well, thanks, Elise. Yeah. I appreciate that. I like a little pumice stone tip. That's nice. Right. And Martha Stewart Living is published by the parent company of our station, the Meredith Corporation. All right.